Robert wants me out of here this weekend, so I'm going to head over to the Carlisle auction in Lakeland. They got some good stuff, some real interesting stuff there, some funky stuff like I like. So I'm putting together a few calls from my herd that I'll trade, give a little bit of difference, get better cars. And then there's some auction cars there. There's some one-of-a-kind stuff, which I really like. They got a super stretch limousine convertible that's like a presidential stretch. That car would be me. I'd love to buy that car. That's a Ted Mobile. They made a Burt Reynolds uh, Smokey the Bandit car they're bringing to the auction, which ought to bring a lot of money. You know, I'll bid on it up to where I think I can make money with it. Probably won't get it, but um, I'm a big fan of his. So hopefully I can get lucky with that. And uh, I like dealing with him. So I'll go there just to hang out and see my friends and buy some cars. I got a phone in my car and I'm on the run. I know what it takes to be number one. And I'll be riding high when the day is done. I'm just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for 40 years. I work here with my beautiful wife, Robin, and we have a great team. Some people call it work, but for us, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Yeah. Hey, Hilo, what's up, bro? Yeah, you saw the Buki Alley, yeah? It's great, isn't it? Yeah, I've got the car here. I just got it. It's one of one, bro. It's a 1932 Buki Alley. It's brand new, but it is still titled as a 32, which means you can export it. Great car. And I'm not ready to sell it. It only has two miles on it. I want to drive it a little bit. Come on. Don't come here. <laughs> Let me give, me give me a few weeks. All right, Elo. I'll see you when you get here. Bye. I've been avoiding Elo's calls because I know what he wants. You know, I just got the booch. I'm in love with it. I really am not ready to sell it yet. I have not had any time to drive it have fun with it. So if Elo really wants it, he's going to have to bring his A-game. He's going to have to step up, because I'm not giving this bad boy away. The great thing about having a special car like the Booch is he's not going to be able to go shop and find another one. One of one. I'm going to name my price. So, you know, he can't tell me, well, that's worth less. I said, well, go find one. <laughs> you can't. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be a struggle. Both guys know what they're doing. And I know he's in love with the car. So he's going to have to pay. We'll see what he comes up with. Let's see what he offers. If it's not enough, I'm not selling the car. I own the London Motor Museum, founded in 2004. I have 247 cars in London. The other day, I just walked into his place, and this booch was just sitting there looking at me. I mean, this thing is from another planet. When I mean another planet, from planet Mars. The booch is not just a car. It's a timeless piece. It is something built in the 1920s, modernized, customized, and rebuilt for today's world. I call it road art. It's not just a car. It's a Picasso. It's a Picasso of cars. Ted, man, I keep calling you on this booch, and you ignore me all the time. I don't want to sell the booch alley yet. I'm not ready. Well, there's always a time for everything. Can't you pick something else? It's got two miles on it. I haven't even driven it. Two miles or 10 miles, what matters? You're the trade king. You trade every car you have. I've got some great <laughs> trades for you. I'm going to give you a deal you can't say no. If you say no to my deal, then you're not the Ted Vernon I know. Okay, let's go make sure look at these cars because I know you wouldn't say no to my deal. When dealing with Ted, I find out it's a lot easier to put cars his way because he's a car guy. But you gotta have things that make him sizzle up. So I came down with a Chevy Bel Air convertible and a Corvette 57 convertible. I'm hoping to grab his attention with these two cars. You know, Elo is a man with a plan. 57 Chevy Bel Air convertible, a 57 Corvette. It doesn't get much better than that the right cars to have. I'm not low-balling you, but I must tell you that if it was a totally stock car, it's worth more in this particular I car. Okay, but it's not a $100,000 car. I'm working Ted on this one, but it's pretty tough. I'm just hoping that he kind of buckles. I'm gonna try and go straight up with these two cars. I mean, I see these cars at $100,000 a piece. For a car that has got twin four-barrel cabs, that's a pretty mean machine. For the 57 Bel Air, Nothing beats a red convertible, lipstick red convertible Bel Air in the middle of Miami. It's very hard for me not to do this deal. He's not making my life easy. I think he's going to step up and throw some serious money on the pile. If he does that, he's going to own the booch. Not to take a shot at you, but I think these cars together are worth about 150 grand. I thought you'd say that. It's probably about it. Not because of the custom. No, you know I love because, custom. No, no, I like the cars. Don't get me wrong. I think they're worth a buck and a half, make you laugh. But my car's worth 250, which means there's something in the rounds 
you know, around 100 grand that we're talking about. Man, you will be talking about 100 grand. 100 grand? To you, that's nothing. Throw me a number, a fair number. 75 grand. 35. 35, 35 is a on. good number. 35 is a good number. You want me, you know? I'm, let me give you my last one because you are a friend and we'll do a lot more deals, but this is just a special car. Give me 60 grand, we're done. 50, we're done. Come on, shake that hand. You know it's a one in a lifetime deal. That's 50 kahunas. All real kahunas. And finding someone that loony that'll like the booch like I will. Exactly, and it'll make you proud. Deal done, that's it, my it's man. Yours. It's yours. That's it. It's yours. Thank, Thank you. you. The booch is gone. It was a short love affair, but a, a good one, and it, it turned out amazing. You know, a car like that, you've got to wait for the right guy. You can wait years. Right guy walked in, it's gone. That's what it's all about. So basically, for 73 grand, I'll come out around 200. Not a bad day's work. I finally nailed Ted Vernon down. Yes, it did cost me a huge amount of money, but you know what? At the end of the day, that bad boy, it's worth all the money in gold. I need to get some cars for Carlisle. Cars I've had a while, cars that have with an edge to them, cars I've had any luck with. How many do you want to take? I want to take a truckload. I like to take around nine. Lakeland, Carlisle auction's coming up. I can buy a lot of cars there and see my buddies horse trade some cars. There's some one-of-a-kind stuff, which I really like, because there's no one going to tell you, well, I can buy another one down the street for such and such, because you can't. So, you know, it may take a little longer to move, but you can really make a lot of money with an oddball. The Buick's got to go. The 76 Cadillac. The Convertible, sell it. Maybe that 58 Chevy, that one I've had a while, that should go. What about the 55 Bel Air? No, too nice. The a couple of the Lincoln sedans, get rid of them. Okay. Those 70s Lincolns are pretty slow right now. Maybe one of these Beatles I've had long enough. Okay. All right. The blue one or the yellow one? The pink one. Get rid of that one. Okay. Yeah. What about the 98 Mustang, the yellow one? Yeah, definitely. That's enough. That's a load. Okay. Right. Get them ready. Harold's here. I'm going to send them. All right. You Thank you. It. Good man. Threw together about eight or nine cars. Just cars I've had a while, late model trades, some junk that I don't want. And I'll bring them up there and try to mesh them into somebody else and bring back something better. You know, instead of blowing my brains out at the auction and losing all my money, I'll swap them for something else and get another chance. Works. Lakeland at the Sun and Fun Center. I came here today to buy, sell, trade, exchange, laugh, see my buddies, hang out. I've been to Carlisle Auctions for years. They just recently moved to this site and it is awesome. This weekend is our first event here in Lakeland. We started in Zephyr Hills three years ago, built that event to the point where we could no longer operate there because the, the facility was too small. We have a whole airport here to work with. We've had a record crowd today. And as far as our cars are concerned, we've had the best turnout of cars that we've ever had at an auction. We've consigned 425 cars, split over two days, Friday and Saturday, running 9.30 in the morning until about 6 in the evening. We're basically doing collector cars. We have cars here from the 20s up through modern day muscle cars, a little bit of everything. One thing that our auction does that, that no other auction in the market does, we offer what we call a free and less sold policy. And what that means is I would offer you a consignment in our sale and sell you a spot. We would market your car properly, do our best to advertise it. If we cannot sell your car, I would refund your consignment fee. That's why we operate as free and less sold. There's nobody else doing that. There are some incredible cars here. There's a Lamborghini Countach I'm interested in. There are some wonderful Jaguars and Rolls Royces and classic Chevys. They have a whole display of, you know, multi-million dollar motorhomes. They're incredible. I hope to buy cars that I can make money with. I'm not a collector. If the buys are good, I'll buy 20, 30 cars. It all depends upon the buys. I hooked up with my buddy Ryan. He called me up about an Impala that I have here. And he's got uh, some cars here that are really not quite what I do, but you know, you never know. Numbers, it's all about the numbers. I brought a couple smart cars, uh, late models of 2008 and 2009. See if I can maybe trade them for a classic car or something. I don't like to bring the cars that I came with home with me. I like to come home with something different. Ted's dealing style is a uh, little tough, but uh, you know, you can, you can work them a little bit. If you have something he wants, it's not as hard. If he has something you want, it's a little bit harder. I'm not sure if I have some cars Ted likes or not. I have some late model stuff today, so hopefully we can make a deal. I'm not sure, we'll see. 
Let's see what Moody's in. Hey, hey Ted. Brian, what's up, How you brother? doing, man? How you doing? I'm doing, man. How you doing? I'm doing. What's going cool. on? What you got? What you got? Trading cars like candy bars. Me too. Me too. What you got? I got smart cars. I got two of them, <laughs> believe it or not. Doesn't sound very smart. You don't do those kind of cars. Yeah, I do. They work. Yeah. They sell good. You know, it's funny. I've sold a few of them, and they've done well. Yeah. If you rent them right, they do well. So what do you got? These two Chevys here. And I got those next four of mine as well. Yeah, look I around? think I'm more into this Chevy here. That's more me. That's your style. That's me. Yeah, all day. But doubly sharp SS Impala. I mean, yes. it's really nice. Air That's car. Me. So can we make a trade with my two smart cars, maybe? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, your two smart cars are not worth anything like what this is worth. Late model cars, you can do. You if can, I, you if can I buy those. these cars, if they go through the sale at 35 a piece, that's seven grand. Seven from 22 is 15. I mean, I know we got to come your way a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But, you know, those a are lot. nice cars, late model cars. I think Ted do go with the smart cars in Miami, where he's from. I think there's a big market for those down there. It's a little edgy, and people like that kind of stuff. I would really be happy to give the smart cars and keep my money, but I know that's not going to work. My two smart cars and 10,000. That would be a good deal for me. My maximum number would probably be 12, 5, maybe 13, but I think that after that, it doesn't really make any sense. I'll do the deal if the money's right. That's the bottom line. I mean, I don't need the smart cars, but I've done well with them. They're good cars. I guess the lowest I would go would be probably maybe 12 to 15 in his car. Then I'm 20, 22 grand, so I'll be okay. I like my Impala, though. If it's not gonna be that, I'm not doing it. I have no problem doing a deal with you. I've done enough of them, but the smart cars are worth three, four grand a piece. So 14 grand, let's do this. I'll give you nine. I mean nine. That's two late model cars. Speaking those are German money. telling me no. You do Come good on, with those cars. You? No. You do good with those cars. Fourteen grand. I'm not gonna don't play with me with nine grand. I don't want to do that. Let's go to something else. How about twelve? That's it. That's what I, I need. Mean, twelve. Nice grand. jump. At least you're stepping up. That's that's a good that's that's fourteen a lot of cash. works for me. How I'll many deals you, have we done? Quite a few. You're at twelve. I'll tell you what I'll do, because we do so many deals. Twelve and a half will make you laugh. All right, gotcha. Twelve and a half, gotcha. Done. I made a deal with Ted, gave him 12.5 cash, had two smart cars, and I ended up with the uh, 67 Impala. Now they have the Impala, I'm gonna enjoy it for a little bit, play with it, and maybe resell it later. My lowest offer I was gonna go was 9,000, and my highest was 12.5. I didn't think Ted was gonna go for my lowest offer, but I figured I'd try it anyway. You never know. I'm very happy I got rid of the smart cars. I've had those long enough. I am happy, okay? Let me explain to you why I'm happy. Everything is the buy. I bought that Chevy from an old man for 12,200 bucks. I got 12,500 and two smart cars. I don't care what those cars do, it's all profit. It was a good, quick, clean, in and out deal with Ryan. I got two cars for free. Hey, doesn't get better than that. My day has been busy. I had a lot of fun. I bought a cool, cool limousine. It's a big stretch limousine with no top. All the windows are cut and manicured the right way, and it's built beautifully. In my opinion, I robbed it. I'm really happy about it. And I think it'll sell because it's just one of a kind in the world. Between Lakeland and Zephyr Hills, there's no comparison. Everything is flowing. I'm buying, selling, trading. Just what I want to do. And there's 400 cars in the auction. You get everything from a tank to vintage airplanes. Just all kinds of fantastic cars. And it's great for me because it's in my backyard. It's in Florida. The car corral's bopping. It's just great. I'm going to buy some more cars, and I'm going to do more deals out in the corral, and I'm going to hang around through Sunday. I'm having fun. company did in honor of Burt, and then they were going to donate the proceeds from the car to the Burt Reynolds Film Institute. My favorite event was certainly having Burt Reynolds here. There's no question about that. I think Burt Reynolds has something to say to Monday you want to bid again. Sir? The reserve is off. When Burt Reynolds, Reynolds had these Trans Ams for Smokey and the Bandit, when the movie came out, sales went up 70%. It's unbelievable. This man is a living legend. Let's sell his car. When we sold that Trans Am, it brought all the money in the world 
because Burt Reynolds was here. Hey, Mr. Reynolds, if you would do me the favor and say one word, and you know what that is. Go. What a pleasure to have Mr. Reynolds here. You could see the crowd. Everybody was enthusiastic. And we have had lines after lines after lines all day long to get this autograph. It's really exciting for me. One of the top entertainers in the world is here today. That's Burt Reynolds. I mean, he's like an icon. You're one of my all-time idols, Deliverance and... Uh... Smoking the band, of course, and the long and short. I'm, I'm just such a fan. It's such an honor to be just around you and, uh, you know, you. man. You know, he's a really nice man, so I'm just hoping he just uh, to let me introduce my son to him. Okay. That would mean a lot to me. I'd like to introduce you to my son. I got another Ted. Ted. Burt Reynolds, my son, Ted. How old are you, Ted? I'll be 11. Wow, you're going to be a big one. I think he's going to be 16. He's going to grow into those feet. And then he's going to start knocking people all over the place. He's going to start with football. That's what I mean. I know. I know, and you played. Man. Well, now you met yourself a legend. Get out of here. Go take a Don't hike. Take care of yourself. I'm a huge Burt Reynolds fan. I wanted to buy the car for like 40, 45. It went about 48. It is what it is. But I got a big kick out of seeing Burt, and you know, he's wonderful. He's a legend. One of my buddies called me and said he's got a friend with a Corvair convertible who was interested in my Mazda convertible. I sell antique cars. The Corvair will work for me, the Mazda doesn't. That's why I brought it here to trade for something else. That would be great for me. I've done business with Ted before. I came down here because uh, he said he was going to be down here and see if I could get a deal done with a 63 Corvair. I hear he has a Mazda Miata, so we're going to go from there, see what happens. Hey, hey, Eric, hey. what's up, bro? Hey, how you doing, how man? How you doing, man? What's all right, up? all right. I heard you got a Mazda up here. Yeah. My 63 Corvair. I like Corvairs. Here you go. And I get a good Mazda. OK. You got a reason for it? Uh, you know how it is, something different. So maybe it'll work out for me, and you deal more with these antiques. It's got some style. Looks all right. Yeah. This is what I call just a car. Exactly. Uh, let me show you the Mazda. Sure. This car here, I belong to a guy who's 87 years old. OK. And I got it from him. It's good looking, got a nice top on it. And it's red. And it's red. You can't get hurt with a red, red car. Red sales. Work for you? I mean, if the deal's right. We'll get it done. The deal's right is uh, they're probably both worth the same thing. I think you'd do better with the Corvair. If I didn't think I would do better with the Corvair, I wouldn't trade you. But we got to have money involved, though. I've dealt with Eric over the last few years. He's not easy. Definitely not easy. He makes me work really hard. I'd probably be safe at about 1500 to two grand, but I don't want to pay that. You know, honestly, I think even trade would be great for me. I'd like to pull that one off. I'd be very happy. But if I got to come his way a little bit, it's probably fair. So I'll see how it plays out. If he wants to swap cars with me, I can't just do an even trade. He needs to come up with some money. The absolute lowest I'll do is 500. I consider he does better with the Corvair because it's an antique. And if he gives me the $1,000 and the Mazda, I think we can wrap it up. Your car's OK. It's a mm -hmm. driver quality car. Yeah. This is OK. Yeah. I think uh, throwing keys, even trade, have a great day, we're done. It's not going to happen. It needs to happen. Not for that deal. I mean, 1500 in your car, we could do the deal. I can't. I can't I pay mean, you 15. I mean, it's a 63 convertible Corvair. Yeah. I mean, and I think it, it's worth it, 1500 it, all day long. It, it is worth 1500 I'll keep my Corvair and pay you 1500 <laughs> <laughs> That'd work out beautiful for you. Get real. Come on. I ain't paying that. Come on. To be a nice fella, because I think it's an even trade, I'll give you 500 I'm done. That's it. Over. Done. Done. 800 we got a deal. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Do you want the Corvair or no, not? No, I don't want it that Come bad. On. I think you'll do well with it. Stop. I'm done. I'm quitting. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not getting beat up today. 500 cash money, done. I'll only do it because I can probably move this faster than that. I know you came over because you wanted the car. I knew yeah. that. Yeah. So It'll we're work. good at a nickel? Work. Yeah. All right. Done deal. done deal. Done deal. I'm glad. Hey, I you were gentle too. with me today. Hey, it worked out for both of us. He's pretty hard to deal with, but it worked out for both of us. He gave me 500 in the Miata, and I think I could do well with the Miata, and he got what he wanted. This is where it works. The Miata's probably worth 35 to 4,500 retail. The Corvair is probably worth 75 to 8,500 retail, and all I gave is a nickel in the Miata. And it's a different face to bring home. I probably would have given him 1,500 bucks, because that would have really been about it. But I got him for five, so it's a win-win for me. And it's fair for him. He's happy, I'm happy. It's all good.
been a fantastic weekend with Carlisle at Lakeland, and it's been the first time they've done the show and auction and corral, and they killed them. They nailed it. It was amazing. Everything went great. The cars were great. I got a bunch of new cars. I sold cars, traded cars, bought cars at auction. Bill Miller is a sweet guy. His whole family's involved in this business. And they're just great. They know how to put a show on. They're nice to you. They know how to treat people. And sitting down and talking with Burt Reynolds today was just spectacular for me. He shook hands with my little boy, and it's just it's very special for me because my boy is my world, so it's special. I was going to buy the Firebird. I got outbid. It was all right. It was worth the money. And Tim asked me to look at some motor coaches that were quite exceptional. I'm not a motor coach kind of a guy, but they were nice. No question about it. I think I taught school this weekend. I think I did well. You know, now I get to take the new cars home and turn them into sold cars. And I get to buy more and sell more and trade more and flip these and create more Frankensteins. It's going to be great. I bought this wonderful stretch, one of a kind parade Cadillac limousine. I'm going to have a blast with it. I think Robin will be thrilled with this load of cars because I didn't buy any clown cars. The limo is borderline, but it's too nice to call a clown car. I'm probably going to get in that big limousine and cruise home with Teddy. That'll be great.